lot. And I learned that uh, it makes a difference. This was the diving board area, and I was one of the guards, and there weren't a lot of, there was a three meter board. And you fell off sideways, you landed on the damp, uh, the darn cement over there. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I did, yeah, he, he came off, and he said, I'll meet you outside. My car, this was mostly, these were all public housing behind it. My car, there was a gate out here. I parked my car outside the gate. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight races. Not a joke. There was a guy named Bill Rush said, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. I said, you're kidding me. He said, no, if you don't, don't come back. And he was right. So I walked out with the chain. And I walked up to my car. And they had, they, those days, you used to remember the straight race, you'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. And I looked at them, but I was smart then. I said, first of all, I said, when I tell you to get off the board, you get off the board, and I'll kick you out again, but I shouldn't have called you, Esther Williams. I apologize for that. I apologize, but I didn't know that apology was going to work. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize for that, not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. He said, okay, close the straight razor, and my heart began to beat again. He said, okay, close the straight razor, and my heart began to beat again.